What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bad the Ball and Wood. I'm coming to you guys today with another lit reaction video, man. So in this reaction video today, man, we about to react to Liquid Sand Hot Tub. This is about to be crazy, man. Hey, listen, this guy right here, Mark Robert, he's that guy, man. I ain't even gonna hold y'all. I seen a couple of his videos and I was like, I don't know if I should really react to these vids because they look really extreme. But let's live that wildlife. How was y'all day today, bro? It was all right. Man, I need y'all to have a great day because my day was amazing. I didn't do much, man. Just went to work, seen a couple customers, and ah, I thought about y'all, man. I was just like, man, I wonder what my babies are doing. You know, like, I miss my kids. It's like, no, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Anyways, I was just thinking about y'all. I was like, man, what are they doing? I wonder what would they like me to react to and how would they want me to react to it, like, what they want to do rag on my head or they want like a regular beanie cap on my head like what would they want me to react to but that's not the point please guys like comment and sub and let's get to it i'm sitting in a hot tub filled to the brim with solid sand yeah okay red it looks so dope <laughs> Bro, a hot tub sand machine, bro. What? This is one of the coolest things ever. Nice. If you take a tub of sand like this and then add air in just the right way, it basically yeah. becomes a liquefied soup. Ooh. What? I ain't know that. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah chat. Do y'all see the wrist motion that he doing? He really like whipping the wrist, bro. We ain't even gonna speak on that though, chat, because that's illegal. I'd be incriminating myself. Cause like, how would I know how to flick the wrist? You know, like, whipping the flipping the wrist. Yeah, whipping the flipping the wrist. Yeah. Hey, P hey, peep the slow mo. Peep the slow mo. Whoa, pause. Look at that there. By the, yeah. <laughs> Table tennis with a tennis bracket. Come on now. What is that? Is that like a giant, like, hand or something? What the heck? Like a, like a, like a paw almost. But the editing skills is on point. In science, this is known as a fluidized bed. It's yeah. used in industrial applications. That's how I said, chat. I just said liquid sand hot tub, but now I'm about to get out a full thing. Fluidized bed. Fluidized air bed we're about to react to today. <laughs> such as powder coat painting <laughs> or in grain silos to make sure that the grain flows smoothly to the outlet. Hey, that's that powder. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. With air on, hey. the top surface is nearly frictionless. It's that's like an dope. air hockey table. That's so dope. What? Bro, I think that's amazing, And bro. then when you cut off the air, it freezes everything exactly where it's at. Wow. Look at Nemo. Look at Nemo. Look at Nemo. Go find Dory, Nemo. Go find Dory. <laughs> you feel me? Hey, yo. This is dope. Wow. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make a simple version like this yourself. And then because I became curious what it would feel like to be fully immersed in something like this, yeah. we made a hot tub size version. That's As dope. you can see from the 60 year old video from the Royal Institute of Science, this demo isn't exactly new. And I've wanted to build one for a long time, but you can yeah. find literally no information online. Chat, what is he like a science teacher? Any new like people, please like and sub to the channel. I am reaching my goal to 200 million subscribers straight like that anyways but is he like a like a science teacher or something chat i don't know like this is very very crazy on how to make one like that so i started combing through a bunch of patent drawings for massive industrial size fluid beds and i noticed that instead of one big inlet yeah. they all had a bunch of small holes to deliver the air so starting with that in mind it still took us 25 failed versions before we arrived at this design Oh, I feel that. As you can see, it's just a bunch of half inch PVC pipes arranged sort of in a ladder. But the key is to drill two one millimeter holes 90 degrees apart from each other, and then do a bunch of those spaced 25 millimeters apart. Then you glue all the pipes together and just make sure you orient the holes down so that will keep the sand from getting in. And then you just seal off the container with some hot glue. And then fill your container with either fine sand or we found glass beads worked really well. And you can power with a small air compressor like this, or you could just rent a large nitrogen container like this for about 30 bucks and that'll give you 10 minutes of runtime. As usual, I will put a link to all of the parts I used in the build in the video description. So my buddy Ken right. had an old broken spa in his backyard, which we decided to put to good use. Yo, so they're really out here going crazy like that, bro. This was very unexpected on my end. What? Wow. They just damaged the hot tub. You damaged the 
damage the hot tub, bro. Are you serious? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is it hot? It just stops and you're like locked in place. It's what? like a weighted blanket on every surface of your body. <laughs> oh. oh. So wait, whenever it stops, he's like stuck in there. His legs is buried alive and like his like, like from the waist down. Pause. <laughs> I don't go like that, chat. What? That's insane. It was tested and ready in my ongoing quest. Right, that's so therapeutic right there, chat. Quest to be the favorite uncle. Yeah. Oh. I decided to oh. surprise my nephews with it. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> he was so scared. <laughs> Bro, he's one of those cool uncles, bro. On the homies, he one of them cool uncles. Before we get to swimming in sand, let's talk about the science behind a fluidized bed. And we don't click away if you think science is boring. If you're new here, you should know that my approach to science is similar yeah. to Velociraptor hunting patterns. I try to know, bring bro. people in with a catchy thumbnail or a cool thing to see, and then when they least expect it. Science. Clever girl. Admittedly, the analogy breaks down a little at the end, but if you promise to hang with me for the next two minutes, I yeah. promise to try and walk the delicate line between trying to make things simple to understand without oversimplifying or being condescending. Fluidization is just when you have enough upward air so that the force of the air pushing on each grain of sand is equal to the downward force of gravity I didn't know that, bro, until he's now explaining it. That's oh, crazy. Wait. And when that happens on any individual grain of sand, it hovers in equilibrium like this. So, if like, it's hovering like everywhere and like so the air just goes like up there like that's crazy so like it hovers and then like the air just goes like up all right cool. think of forces acting on an object dope, like a dope. tug of war <laughs> if an object is in equilibrium that means there's a tie and air, it doesn't accelerate gravity, in either air, direction gravity. just like in a real tug of war if the sides are even however if you add stone cold steve austin oh, to this side that yeah. will make it totally unbalanced and also the rock over there. And we'll start to move this way, which is actually what happens if you accidentally turn the air up too high. Ooh. As a fluidization occurs in that sweet spot where the sand particles hover in equilibrium, hey. which makes them easy. That sweet spot. <laughs> to move around. This Yo. is also the reason sometimes you'll see Ooh. pools pumped with air to cushion the landing for the divers. Yo. Now you notice that some stuff floats in the sand and other stuff sinks. Back. This has to do with the buoyancy force, which is a function of the density of the surrounding fluid and the volume of the object itself. Whenever an object exists in a pressure gradient, there are forces from pressure pushing in on all sides, but they yeah. push a little bit harder the deeper that you are, which is why it hurts more to be the bottom guy in a dog pile or it hurts your ears more the deeper you dive in the pool. And this Heck makes yeah. sense because the deeper you dive, the more water there is above you pushing down. And if you add up yeah. the size and direction of all those arrows, a bunch of stuff cancels out and you're left with one net force pointing upwards. That is the buoyancy force. Chat, I'm so lost right now. I ain't gonna hold y'all, chat. I'm mad lost. You could think of things like helium balloons being buoyant in our atmosphere. So here's a trick question. Which of these has a higher buoyancy force? It's actually... This. The rubber ball. Wait, buoyancy what? force has nothing to do with the density of the oh. object, just the volume. So since the rubber ball takes up more space, yeah. it has a higher buoyancy force. I but you might object. Then why does the rubber ball sink and the balloon Goes floats? Up. Remember, it's a tug of war. The rubber ball sinks because the force from gravity on the what? thick rubber skin and the air inside is bigger than the buoyancy force. But for the balloon, even though it doesn't have as big of a buoyancy force compared to the ball, it still floats up because that buoyancy force is bigger than the weight arrow from the helium and the thin rubber shell. True. And the helium will keep rising like a ball floating up from deep in a lake. And then it will eventually hang out where the density of the atmosphere is roughly equal to the density of the helium in the balloon because that's where the tug of war becomes equal. Whew, we made it through. Now back to my nephews. That was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy right there, bro.
So wait, when like the air stops, will that go back up? Hang on, goggles. That's so cool. Oh! They just did a cannonball, bro, in a hot tub. Come on now, bro. Hey, man, I'm getting jealous right now, chat. So I'm, I gotta cut it short. All right, y'all, that's the end of the vid. Thank y'all for tuning in. Please like, comment, and sub. Not to mention, stay juiced up. Yeah, we out, man. I can't get no rest. We in the house, I fall asleep with a tech, Rack. fashion on the pills. I'm